we are back on the party boat 2.0. Uh, I think that's what we're settling with with the name wise for right now, but it's gonna change in the future. This episode is an exciting one. We're gonna be installing this third pontoon, hopefully. Uh, I gotta figure out some stuff. One thing I need to figure out is what is up with this mounting hardware? It looks like it takes special kind of nuts or bolts, like some kind of channel locking. Uh, I gotta figure that out. I don't know where to buy that, so gotta figure it out first. Before we do that, before we even install this, we're gonna work on these pontoons. I wanna clean them up, and make them look a lot better. To do that, I have a couple things. First thing I wanna address though, I know you guys said it a lot in the comments, to switch the sides of them. That way, the dented side's gonna be inside the pontoon, so you won't even see it, and all the good side's gonna be out of it. I checked the inside, it all looks good. It's definitely gonna be a lot of work to do that. I'm gonna have to take off all these cross beams and remove them. Pick this up, put it on the other side somehow. I'll have to do that. But to make this easier, I'm gonna be taking care of the outside of the pontoons first. And then once I move them in, I'll be able to clean up the insides. Does that make sense? So I'll clean up the outside right here. And then once I rotate them, this will be on the inside now. And then I'll be able to clean up all this whenever it's on the outside. <laughs> I think I made that really more complicated than it should have been, but you know what I mean. You'll, you'll be able to figure it out. I bought a couple things to test out on the pontoons to try to clean them up, make them a little bit shinier. One is Alumabrite, but this is not Alumabrite. I thought it was. It's Starbright Aluminum Cleaner, which I guess is like an off-brand, but we're going to try that out. And also, I read in the comments that Muratic Acid is the exact same thing as this, and it's cheaper. So we're going to try that out, see if that's true, see what works the best for you guys. Uh, I wish I had Alumabrite because I thought I bought that, but we're going to test that out and see how it works. We're going to do that first, and also we're going to clean up this pitting, try to make it look a little bit cleaner. I bought something for that. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it out and see if it looks better. You know, can't get much worse than that. So we'll, we'll do a lot of testing this episode and get this thing installed, hopefully.
definitely looks a lot cleaner. Um, can't tell if it looks better or not. Um, I think the only way to make it look okay is to paint it. And I really wanted to avoid painting it, but I think that's the best way to do it and the best way to make it look okay. You may notice this up here, this is actually starting up corrosion. There's no way to get that off unless you take a whole layer of aluminum off to get that down to spare aluminum, basically. Um, might do that, might not. Like I said, this is gonna be the inside, so I'm not really gonna see it but I would like to clean it up at least a little bit. All the pitting is taken care of. I use this aluminum filler stuff. It's mainly used on cars. That's what I usually use it on for like deep dents or any kind of like pitting on the car. Helps that. Um, you're supposed to paint over this. It says it's water resistant or waterproof, but still you're supposed to paint over it. So I think I was hoping it would match the aluminum a lot more so you wouldn't even notice it, but you can definitely notice it. It's not that bad when you just take it down to where the pitting was and it just filled in right there, but still I think it's gonna look best if we paint over that and just make it all match and flow and be flat. <laughs> now, my question to you guys is if you've painted aluminum before, my last pontoon, I painted the bottom black and it it looked okay. It's just it didn't last very long. If you like nicked it at all, the paint would peel up. That might've been just because my undercoat, my last pontoon wasn't very good. So maybe that's why it kept peeling up. You guys tell me what you want. Uh, I would love to paint the whole thing like black. I think that'd be really cool. The only way to do that, I think is to have it powder coated to make it last and look good. But that has to be super expensive for like really big pontoons. So that's out of the question. And also, I don't know if you can powder coat over this stuff and um, with the pitting and stuff, it might look weird. So that's out of the question. Another thing is I was thinking bed liner. Uh, making like a smooth bed liner. I read a little bit about that and the only complaints I've seen people make is it creates drag and slows the pontoon down but I mean it's a pontoon it's not gonna go that fast anyway so and if I do that I could definitely paint the whole thing um, one color black it's just gonna be a rough texture. Uh, I might provide more protection though I don't, I don't know I'm just thinking out loud right now wondering what you guys' idea is. I don't want to paint the center tune I don't I want to leave that bare aluminum I don't want to paint these things at all that's what I'm trying to get at but I definitely think I'm gonna have to paint the outside to make them look okay. So right now I'm thinking just paint the bottom part black like I did the last pontoon and leaving it as that. But I'm open to other ideas if you guys have any other suggestions or ideas. Now since I got both the outsides done, these are gonna be down the inside. When I swap them, I'm gonna go ahead and remove these cross beams, take them all off and get it ready to be swapped. I might even tilt these things up and try to clean the bottoms too while I have it. But I might just wait for that because I'm gonna have to paint the bottoms anyway, so maybe not waste my time doing that right now. Just get the pontoon swapped in the third pontoon on and then we can focus on painting it in another episode, maybe. We'll figure that out later on.
All right, I got both the sides swapped over. Everything's cleaned up. All the corrosion is covered and it looks very smooth. This is actually the outside. That's just all flipped upside down right now. Getting ready to paint. Uh, one other thing you guys may have noticed is I kind of tilted this one too far and it hit that one and flipped over and caused a little bit of damage. No big deal. I'm gonna have to fix some of this anyway. Uh, like this one is already messed up and I broke this one off on this side. Uh, sucks, but something that happens when you're trying to do all this stuff alone. I was impatient. I could have asked people to help me, but I was just, I thought I could do it by myself. And I could have done it by myself if that wasn't so close, but <laughs> it happens sometimes, I guess. No damage was done to this though. It's very sturdy, <laughs> no dents or anything. Just these fins are just a little weak. <laughs> and uh, if you hit them pretty hard, then they'll obviously fall off. Now back to talking about paint. I mentioned it earlier in this video that we're gonna do that later on, but I got the thinking and once I install this tritune, it's gonna be very hard to squeeze in here and paint the inside of the pontoons. And I just don't wanna do that. So go and go ahead and do it now and not have to wait and worry about squeezing in here later on and just get it out of the way because it's gonna look a lot better once we do it. Now the paint I got is not really what you're supposed to use, but I read good reviews on it and I looked at pictures of people doing it and it holds up really well. They said they abused their boat a lot and it doesn't scratch it or anything. And it's actually just spray paint. It's just this Rust-Oleum spray paint, the high performance enamel. Dries in 15 minutes. <laughs> this stuff is incredibly cheaper than buying the actual stuff you're supposed to use. Now, the actual stuff you're supposed to use probably holds up a lot better. I just didn't have a good experience last time I painted my tunes. It, they chipped a lot, and every time I hit something, it would scratch it. So, we're gonna try something else. And this one is actually a lot cheaper than the one I bought. I bought like a gallon can for $150, and this is only $115 for. Uh, like 20 cans. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. Uh, if not, we're at the go to the store and buy some more. Don't know yet, but that's what we're gonna try out. Uh, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow because the rain has been pretty bad today. So tomorrow we're gonna create a tape line and the top of this is gonna be painted. Then we're gonna flip them back over and take off the tape and hopefully it'll look brand new. I really don't think you're gonna see any of this corrosion anymore because I sanded it down pretty good. Grinding off that aluminum filler and also sand it with some 80 grit just to make it a little bit smoother on the outside. Uh, I think it's gonna look really cool. If not, then we'll have to figure something else out later on. You know, I like to do this. I like to do a little test things for you guys, save you a little bit of money, teach you guys how to do some of this stuff. So bear with me. If it doesn't work, I will let you know if it doesn't work and doesn't hold up very well. So we're gonna try it out.
paint looks awesome. A lot better than I thought it would look. It actually holds up pretty well, like just touching it and feeling it with my nails and stuff. It feels pretty sturdy. We'll be able to know more about that once we actually take it out on the water and test it out, hit some bumps, hit, hit some sand and stuff. We'll be able to test that out once we start taking this out. Flipped it all over, got the third pontoon in and installed. It took a little bit of work. Had to do a lot of backing up with the trailer and lining. I got it all measured out, aligned exactly in the center and I put some bolts on the front and bolts on the back to hold it up to make sure everything is lining up right. You see it's a little bit longer in the front. It's not completely even with the front pontoons. I don't think it's a big deal. Might have to do a little bit of cutting and modifying up here on the front to make sure no one hits their knees or head or anything on that. It's a little sharp. Well, we'll figure that out later on. It's just, we had to do that because I had to get it lined up right to fit on all the mounting brackets. And I think there's still one that doesn't line up. Yeah, right here, but there's eight on the back right here so I think it'd be fine to not have one going right there and if I actually did want one I'd have to make some new brackets buy some new hardware it's a lot more work and I think it's gonna be fine to hold up all the rest of this now I was hoping to have this thing completely done and installed in this episode but I ran out of hardware a lot of this old hardware I can't reuse because it's messed up corroded uh, whenever I was hammering it out it dented it a little bit got the threads all messed up so I ordered all new hardware it's gonna come in pretty soon and I'm gonna finish installing this in the next episode along with the hardware I need from the inside right here I talked about not knowing which kind of hardware I needed and I asked in a Facebook group chat I'm a part of called pontoon junkies if you join that Facebook group you actually get discounts to pontoon stuff and everything you join them if you want to <laughs> they're a good group to join if you have any questions about rebuilding your pontoon or anything they're very helpful and I asked them what kind of hardware they needed. They said carriage bolts is the way to go. That's what a lot of people use when installing these third pontoons or like the other pontoons they've had, use carriage bolts. So I found the right size I needed and I went ahead and ordered those and they'll be here on the weekend. So next episode, we're gonna have to finish installing the third pontoon and then move on to the flooring and redoing the flooring and everything. All new wood, it's already in and we'll talk about all that in the next episode. I'm gonna hold off talking about the third pontoon versus like aluminum versus the poly kit uh, until I actually drive it a little bit but right off the bat I think the poly kit's way easier this was actually pretty difficult especially if you're one person doing this but I'm gonna wait and give the full review once I start driving this and then we can be able to tell a better difference of what's going on so that is it thank you guys for watching thank you for subscribing and liking and everything uh, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram I post a lot of behind the scenes about anything really some day in the life pictures some other random stuff if you want to check me out there you can if not i will catch you guys next week on the new episode hopefully we have some more stuff going on we can finish up all this little stuff i didn't get done so yep thank you so much stay tuned for next week all right